Did you know that the soap you use to wash your face every day can alter the density of krill poop? It's actually a pretty big deal. Hi guys, Lisette here for DNews. You may already be familiar with how plastic in the ocean is killing wildlife, but it's more than just plastic soda rings strangling seabirds and fish. The impact of plastic goes far beyond just what we can immediately see, especially because of tiny bits of plastic that end up in the ocean called microplastics. They're having a ton of secondary effects and unexpected consequences. Though there is no standard definition, microplastics are generally defined as smaller than 5 millimeters. In the ocean, these come from larger pieces of plastic that have degraded over time or straight from our products, like the small plastic beads in our body wash and the plastic fibers in our clothes. A recent study published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology found plastics could be changing food dispersion. Researchers found that zooplankton, which are small marine animals like krill and copepods, Eat microplastics, not good, because once the tiny sea creatures eat these plastic bits, they then excrete them in their fecal pellets. Yeah, poop. The thing is, the plastic makes their feces way less, so it sinks much more slowly. And the fact that they're sinking more slowly means there's also more time for other animals to eat these pellets, marine animals like turtles, fish, and birds. Without the plastic, the feces would sink faster, getting to the bottom of the ocean where they would be consumed by coprophagous bottom dwellers. But but now, all of a sudden, they're being consumed by a new group of marine life, which is a huge problem. First, because the plastics themselves contain toxic chemicals. And second, because plastics absorb toxins from the surrounding water. This makes their toxicity many times greater than the surrounding water itself. So when marine animals eat these plastic poop pellets, it can be deadly. The microplastics contain chemicals like BPA and phthalates, and when consumed, can cause organ damage, genetic mutations, reproductive issues, developmental abnormalities, and disrupt hormone systems. In their study, Rockman and colleagues found that exposure to polyethylene microplastics for two months led to liver stress and altered gene expression in Japanese madaka fish. In another study, which was published in the journal Environmental environmental pollution, scientists found that gobi fish that were exposed to microplastics readily confused them for food, which in turn decreased the amount of real food they ate. Again, not good. And multiple studies on mollusks have found that BPA leads to endocrine disruption that causes mollusks to have additional female organs, engrossed sex glands, and even higher mortality. Basically, microplastics can really make some marine life sick. And because we eat these fish, they may end up making us sick too, as was suggested by the United Nations Environment Program through their call to ban microplastics from cosmetics. However, research on the impact of microplastics on humans is currently limited. But with more than 5 trillion bits of plastic currently in the ocean that reaches concentrations of up to 100,000 particles per cubic meter and more being pumped into our environment, it definitely warrants more research, especially given that one tiny plastic bead that came from a soap can be cycled through multiple fish and fish poo back to fish and onto us to repeat the cycle all over again. But this is just one of the many stories you could tell about our oceans. Why not tell your own in your style with a website? No domain extension will help you tell a story like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. Microbeads and personal care products have been a source of debate this past year. Julia has the skinny over here. A recent study published in the journal Marine Pollution Bulletin found if millions of these beads get released into the water, the researchers estimate this could result in up to 80 tons of unnecessary microplastic waste. Because they're small and buoyant, they easily pass through sewage treatment plants. Do you use any products with microplastics in them? Are you on board to ditch them? Let us know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more D News every day. Thanks for watching, guys.